Are you telling me we can do that inside Final Cut Pro without After Effects? Yes, you can do that inside Final Cut Pro. Wow. Do you think we should show them how we can do that? Yes, Emilio, that would be great. Okay, let's go. Hey everybody, on this video we're gonna see how we can add the trackable HUD elements in our videos in Final Cut Pro using the all-in-one plugin for HUDs from Pixel Film Studios. I will have a link in the description of this video down below for you to get this plugin and if you use the coupon code EMILIOPIXEL you will get 30% off your purchase. Let's go into Final Cut Pro and see the plugin in action. We are in the Final Cut Pro and let's see how we can create the elements that you saw in the beginning of this video. Now, first of all, when you download the HUD Elements Pack from Pixel Film Studios, and let me go and show you right away, when you download it, you're going to see that you have the options to download all of these different packs. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to work today with a Pro HUD tracker that has HUD elements but also has a tracker inside. For all the other, the HUD Mega Pack that we will see now in the video, uh, just for a quick note, let me just go here. If we go in the titles, you will see that for all these different elements that they are on the Mega Pack, for example, or on the Pro HUD Volume 4 that you can see here, we have plenty of different options that you can work. You should have also the FCPX Auto Tracker so you can drop them and then track your object into the subject that you want to track. So keep in mind that the Pro HUD Tracker that we will work today, it has automated tracker inside the effect for all the other elements that you will see on the pack, you will need the auto tracker. Now that we cleared this, let's go and uh, go for example here, I'm going into titles, we can also see them on the effects or, you know, depends on the pack that you will have installed. So we drag this, we place it on top of the video and you will see here on the inspector panel on the right that we have the track editor first of all which is something that we need to do you see i can click here had on and off and then i can go to the track editor and when i click that we see the auto tracker now on the auto tracker i can zoom out a little bit so i can see the whole image that I want to track and we need to make sure that we are in the beginning of the clip okay so we make sure that this red line is on the beginning we will select the portion that we want to track let's say here we have the eye and we will make sure that on the right the track quality is 100% and after we finish with that we click here to track forward if we see that we lost the track we can readjust here and uh, we can select with shift the keyframes that we want to delete and we will right click and click on remove keyframe and then again we can continue from here and select again track forward to continue and as soon as we finish we click on export data since we have finished with the track we will enable the HUD and then we will go here and we can change the scale of it as you can see I can place it for example here on the right on top right and from here I can change the rotation for the X Y and Z axis so I can make it just like that and also I can change it here and as we can see we have the HUD element ready trackable to the eye now you will see that we can change camera controls and also we can change the HUD controls. For example, we can change the main color, let's say, from this uh, mustard, the yellow, to a red one. We can change the effects control, how much prism we want to have, the prism angle, how much we want the prism mix, or uh, how we want the scanline static to be, the brightness, and of course the glow. So different settings that we can play to achieve the result that we want on the HUD. And uh, let's go now and see, let's see, it's finished now. More of a, a glitch, techy, bleep, 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 HUD element. Now, 
let's go and see if we don't have in the element the tracker as I said in the beginning here on the Pro Hat Volume 4 for example let's say that we want to add this but if we add this on top let's uh, change the, pos the scale as well okay so if we add this we see on the right that we can change everything but we don't have the option to track it so for that how we're gonna do that is we are gonna go to the auto tracker and we're gonna select the drop zone so we're having the drop zone and we go again we track our eye and as soon as we finish with that we finish with the track that we saw before we go here and on the drop zone we select the drop zone that we want to apply and we will have the object that we want to track into our videos also in the description of this video you will find a link for a youtube playlist from pixel film studios where they share a lot of tutorials for Final Cut Pro that I'm sure you will love. Check them out. Please don't forget to let me in the comments down below if you have any additional questions for this uh, plugin. I will be more than happy to help you out and reply to your comments. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. And if you did, do all this great, amazing YouTube stuff. I'm not going to name them again. If you have any questions, I'm waiting them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to Pixel Film Studios for supporting this channel. Thank you for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video. Are you telling me we can do that inside Final Cut Pro without After Effects? Yes, you can do that inside Final Cut Pro. Wow. Do you think we should show them how we can do that? Yes, Emilio, that would be great. Okay.